Hi everyone, in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to draw the doorstop using Fusion 360. So you'll need this page here which has all of the dimensions on it to draw your doorstop. So first of all, please follow the mouse as we go along. I'm going to go through it slowly and there are four main elements to this. So we are first going to create a sketch. Now as you can see, there are one, two, three and three kind of um, platforms that we can create this sketch on. We need to make sure that we're not going to be creating it on a vertical line like these two back ones and that we're creating it on a flat surface. So the bottom one here, as you can see, it's grey. So we're going to click. Fusion works best as well if you're just slowly clicking, not clicking heaps of things. So the first thing we are going to start drawing is a rectangle. So we need to come up to the top here and we are going to be drawing a two point rectangle. We're going to click on our rectangle and bring it over. Starting at the center, so as you can see the blue box is highlighted, we are going to click once and drag our mouse out. Now as you can see, some of the dimensions have been highlighted. Don't worry about getting them perfect if you can't, just randomly stop and click to finish. We now have a rectangle. However, our rectangle needs to be 120 millimeters by 40 millimeters. So what we're going to do is come up to this at the top here, which is sketch dimension. We're going to click on it. And as we come down, this blue line highlights. This is the length. So I've clicked on this once and I drag the dimension up. The dimensioning tool, once I click again, helps me get it to the exact length I need, which is 120 millimeters. Sketch dimension, we now need to do this side. This is the width. I click once, I pull it out, I click again, and it says 54, I need to change that to 40. And as you can see, the tool has changed the dimensions of this rectangle for me. Right, we're done, we're finished with that. We're going to finish this sketch, so click Finish Sketch. Now, it's come down to our home view. So as you can see up the top, we have a home view. We've got all the different sides. Just be careful when orbiting and moving around, orbit and moving, panning, because it is very easy to become lost in this kind of space. Right, we're going to go to home view. Now that we've created this shape, okay, I want to get my cursor off there. Right, you can see it highlights when I come onto it. We are going to right click once and we are going to extrude this shape. So we're going to lift it up, we're going to rise it. Now, the width of the wood, the dimension is 19 millimeters. So we're going to pop that in, and as you can see, it shows us a preview. This is going to go up 19 millimeters. We click enter. Awesome. We have made, I can zoom in and out. We have made the base, okay? This is the first element, all right? What we're going to do now is we're going to look to create our wedge for our doorstop. This is a bit more of a complicated step, so make sure you stop and listen. Now, we are not going to be, as you can see, each one highlights differently. We are going to be creating a sketch, so this top button here, but we're not going to be creating it on the top. We're going to be creating it on this face here. So if everyone can click on that face, it moves for us. Now, we need to create a wedge that comes up six millimeters and is 60 millimeters wide into our doorstop. So we're going to use the line function. We're gonna come down to this corner, click once, and we're gonna drag it up. Sorry, click once, and we're gonna drag it up. Now, as you can see, this is highlighted as I'm going. So I can either stop, click and use the dimension tool or because it's highlighted I can just use my keyboard to pop in the dimension so that is six millimeters we're then going to create the line function again we're going to go from this edge here make sure you're right on the corner click once and drag it across 60 millimeters look I've managed to get it on there perfectly we're going to click to finish we are now using the line tool we're going to connect this dot with the top of this dot here, okay? And we're going to click, all right? This is our little wedge here. 
Now, like always, after we have done something, we need to finish the sketch. Now, to see if it's worked perfectly, which it has, you should be able to highlight just that perfect little triangle. We are now going to right click on that triangle and we are going to extrude it. However, we do not want to bring it up. We don't want to rise, make it rise. We want to make it disappear. So that is negative. Now, if I put in negative 12, you can see a preview. It's only extruding it a little bit. We need to go all the way across. So I'm just going to put in like a random number, click enter, and our whole extrusion has taken off and we now have a full wedge on our doorstop. This is the second element. We are now going to do the third element. So like always, we are going to create a sketch. Now we need to put our hole in and our hole is going to go up the top here. So we need to click on the top surface. And here we go, we have our circle, our center diameter circle. Now roughly get it in the center if you can. Click once, drag it out. Now see how it's highlighted? I know that our diameter was 15. All right, enter. Now I don't know about you, but this doesn't look perfectly central to me. So what we're going to use is our dimensions tool. This is where it gets confusing. So we need to make sure that it's 20 millimeters from the top and 20 millimeters from the side. So just watch carefully. We click the circle, we click the side, and we drag it out. And we click. It's 18, so we need to write in 20. It moves it. Now, dimension again. We click the circle, but this time, we did the side last time, we're going to click the top, and we're going to pull it up. It says 18. Clicked. I'm going to write in 20, and enter. This is perfectly central now. Okay? We are going to finish this sketch, okay? And on this top circle here, you can tell if it's worked. Remember how it highlights by itself? We're going to right click and we're going to extrude it. Now, are we lifting it up or are we getting rid of it? We're getting rid of it, so it's going to be negative. And this is only 19 millimeters thick. So if we do negative 20 and click enter, when we have a top view, you will see that we now have a hole. Remember to use this as your direction around the page. Beautiful. So this is our third element. What we are now going to do to finish off is we're going to use this filleting tool up here. So we're going to create round edges on our solid body. We're going to create round edges here, on that corner, and down the front here. Okay. Now, for some of you, it might be easier to kind of orbit here but like I said be very careful when you're orbiting because it's quite easy to get lost. So let's fill it. I'm going to click on the filleting tool. Now see the line. We don't want to fill it the whole edge. We want to fill it this line, this whole line here. So I'm going to click on it. Okay now it asks me how many millimeters. We don't have a specific amount. Okay play around with it but I like using five millimeters. And obviously, whatever you do on one side, you should do on the other. Five millimeters, click enter. I'm going to reorbit, drag it around. I'm going to do these front ones here. So I'm going to fill it them, this tiny little edge here. Now, this one I only do two millimeters, just a small one. And I'm going to fill it here as well. Again, two millimeters and click enter. And now I'm going to go back to the home view. So as you can see, I've got round filleted edges. I've got a wedge for our doorstop. Okay. I have a hole. All right. And I've got curved edges there. Another thing that you can do, and this is going to add to it, and I would love you to have a go, is if we right click on any face, it doesn't matter. Right click on it. Up here in the little box, we have appearance. So click on appearance. And over on the side here, something is going to pop up. So... We have in this design, this is the current style of it. However, if you scroll down, we have a huge library. So let's pretend now there's heaps of different things. It doesn't have to just be wood. There's stone. There are actual fabrics as well. Mirror, metal, all right, plastic, whatever. All you need to do is you drag and drop. All right. And you can drag and drop it onto the whole thing. Oops. Okay, and the whole thing becomes the, um, 
texture or the kind of design that you would like. This fabric, glass, everything. Now, if you click on just faces, you can then drag one, so I can have one dark grey leather just on, just on this wedge here. Oh, oh no, that's a cool one that you need to download. We're going to have light bamboo just on that one there. Right, and as you can see, it's changed. Okay, once you have finished doing this, make sure you go up the top and you can save your work in a special file so that you don't lose it. Okay, I hope this helped you all.